Venus is stationing retrograde in Leo this summer from July to September, which also happened in the summer of 2015. So let's look at the headlines from 2015 to see what was happening then and see if any of those themes repeat themselves this year. In June of 2015, China had a stock market crash that was their worst day since 2007. Venus rules Taurus, which is the bull and is the sign that talks about your livestock, your stock. The stock market is ruled by Venus. So Venus retrograde could have implications on the stock market, generally speaking. 2015 was also when the FIFA scandal was unfolding. Uh, the U.S. Department of Justice indicted nine executives charged with a range of offenses, including racketeering, wire fraud, and money laundering conspiracies. Leo is the sign that rules broadcasting and televised entertainment and sporting events, whereas Venus is the planet that rules money. So it might be interesting if we saw some sort of financial controversy related to some broadcast network. In September of 2015 was when the Volkswagen emissions cheating scandal first broke and the Environmental Protection Agency accused them of cheating on their emissions testing. So it'd be interesting if we see another large company get caught up in like an environmental scandal or a greenwashing scandal. July of 2015 was when the United States and Cuba restored their diplomatic relationship and in August is when the U.S. Embassy reopened in Havana. So it would be interesting if we saw the re-spark of the conversation about the U.S.-Cuba diplomatic relationship or really any major diplomatic relationships that are kind of rocky or on a teetering scale. So we'll see if any of the themes from 2015 get brought up again in this year's 2023 retrograde cycle. Whoa.